Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're going to be looking at vertical, adjacent, and complementary angles, level one. Level one here. So basically, we want to take a couple of properties, um, mostly vertical angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles, and we're going to use those properties to find out missing angle lengths. So let's take a look at some examples. All right, so here it says find. The measure of the missing angles. We're looking for the measurement of angle C and the measurement of angle B. Okay, we're looking for both of those. All right, we know that this angle here is 103 degrees. So uh, I can find a linear pair and see that that is a linear pair right here. What does that mean? Well, that means that the angles are supplementary. So B and this angle here, 103, adds up to equal. 180 degrees so I wrote that out 103 plus B equals 180 degrees okay so this is going to help me find B now I could just solve this equation by subtracting 103 on both sides and I get 77 all right that's because they are supplementary it's a linear pair now that I know what the angle B is, I can find the measurement of angle C because angle B and angle C are vertical angles. Now, I don't even have to do any math on that. All I know is since they're vertical angles, they're equal. So angle C is also 77 degrees. So that's how you find that one. So angle C is 77 and angle B is 77. Okay, let's take a look at another example. All right, here it says find the measure of the missing angle. We have angle A here, and we have this angle, which is 66 degrees. We also know that, the, that this is complementary, meaning that the two angles add up to equal 90 or form this right angle here. All right, so now I can take 66 plus A and, and add it together and set it equal to 90. So that's, that's a complementary angle, adds up to equal 90, and take 66 plus A and set it equal to 90. And now all I have to do to solve for A is just subtract 66 on both sides. And 90 minus 66 is 24. So A is equal to 24. And that's it. That's a quick little lesson on... Um, using properties to find missing angle lengths. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.